As you know, mineral development is an activity aimed at extracting from the bowels of the earth or from its surface mineral-containing substances and their processing to obtain finished products. Gold mining is a priority in this area. This is largely due to the preciousness of the metal and its impact on the state of the gold and foreign exchange reserve of any country. Therefore, the gold mining industry occupies a special place in the system of state development. And for its improvement, new technologies are developed and implemented. And now you'll find out which ones. Gold is a heavy metal, as we know, and one of the first to be known to humans. Due to its beauty and rarity, it's called precious and is used in various types of activities, including financial and jewelry. Such properties as inertness, plasticity, high thermal and electrical conductivity will allow gold to be used in electronics, the chemical industry, medicine, and even dentistry. Methods of extraction. The content of gold in the Earth's crust is only 4.4 to the power of negative 10%, so the entire metal is considered rare. It's mostly found in nature in nugget form, occurring in rock formations as veins and inclusions. And in fact, there are a number of technologies for obtaining this metal. For example, pore ores are developed by heat leaching, as well as the extraction of gold is carried out as an accompanying element in the development of ores of other non-ferrous metals. Among the methods and processing of gold-bearing ores with chemical separation of gold, processing of old technical products containing precious metals, as well as the technology of placer washing. In fact, we'll talk about it today, as this method is used for mining on an industrial scale. Before mining, any deposit necessarily goes through several stages of testing and development using various special machines. And these processes always involve drilling equipment for soil exploration. Based on the activities of which the report on the profitability of the source of gold is based, need and drilling equipment for mining operations, which allows you to dig a mine of the desired depth. You cannot do without equipment for underground mining, washing equipment and dredges. This is generally the basis of all gold mining equipment. You also need concentrate benefication equipment to improve the quality of the mined gold, as well as ore dressing equipment. Reconnaissance. Now before mining begins, geologists determine the prospects of a placer deposit. Drilling or pits, shallow shafts, are used to determine the contours of the placer, its metal content, and the thickness of the formation. Mineral prospectors have to dig a lot, as their task is to find out the depth of the placer, its thickness, contours, and the content of the useful element. Based on this data, they determine the metal content and the prospects for development. At this stage, all mining companies use medium and light bulldozers. Next, various mining and preparation works begin, including dumping and dewatering of the site. All this is to optimally prepare the site for the development of the productive layer of the placer. Dewatering of the placer. High quality placer dewatering works to ensure the possibility of highly productive work of excavation machines and prevent losses in dilution. Dewatering is usually done through trenches. The most efficient machines for driving these trenches are small backhoe excavators or heavy bulldozers. If gold mining takes place in permafrost conditions, then preliminary loosing of rocks is of great importance during excavation works. In this case, sometimes drilling and blasting and mechanical loosening with powerful tractors with attached equipment are used. Stripping. Placers are not always on the surface. The top is often a layer of waste rock ranging from tens of centimeters to tens of meters in thickness. This rock is usually bulldozed and removed from the landfill. It may later be used in reclamation. If the deposit is located in permafrost conditions, heavy mining equipment is definitely required. However, most of the placers being mined are not massive and have a small thickness of the peats. Stripping in such areas does not require significant displacement of rock volumes. Therefore, in these cases, enterprises and companies prefer to use only heavy bulldozers, often with attachments, for preliminary loosening. And here is one of the best machines for such purposes, the T700 model for Macon Industries. Their equipment can easily process about 300 to 450 tons per hour. Impressive, isn't it? Thanks to the new heavy drum design and larger frame, this specialized helper will work productively with even the coarsest materials. An onboard hydraulic system drives the tracks, drum, conveyor, and leveling system. This mobile design allows all important processes to be completed much faster. Rock excavation by ground-moving machines. 
Gold-bearing rock is mined by excavators and bulldozers. Sometimes it's loosened by explosions. The use of powerful bulldozers, such as the Komatsu D-375 and similar bulldozers, with attached ripping equipment, allows accelerating the excavation of any soil. Then the soil is fed to the washing plant, which is either a stationary location at the factory or a transportable structure. On small placers, it's the mobile units that are more efficient. One of the flagship machines is the Macon Industries ST600. Such a machine is one of the most reliable and easy to operate gold washing plants on the market. This model features fully welded tubular construction, a factory installed generator on the power screen deck, and large diameter skids for easy moving over wet terrain. This shaker platform is 6 by 14 feet in size, capable of processing 250 cubic yards per hour. The quick cleaning system and mobile design make the SD600 very user friendly. As for the technology itself, rock is poured up the chute under jets of water that eroded, causing it to roll downhill. The heavy gold sand and nuggets are deposited on rubber mats, while the lightweight waste rock is removed to the dump. Dredge mining. Today, one of the methods of gold mining is the hydraulic method. This technology is based on water pressure that pushes gold particles to the surface. But a more efficient method of gold mining in the industry is considered to be the method using a dredge, a special machine that combines the functions of gold mining and rock enrichment. It works only in watered areas, so gold mining in this way is carried out near water bodies. It's the dredge that does the main work, replacing about 10,000 diggers. The machine itself weighs 1,400 tons, so it takes 10 people to operate the dredge. The device is a system with a scoop that scoops the water with sand from the bottom, washes and cleans it, while not missing any gold particles. The process is as mechanized as possible, and the dredge always gets rid of the waste on its own. By the way, there are two varieties of drag, marine and continental. The first looks like a ship that can move around a body of water. Development of gold mining on such a machine is carried out in coastal zones. In marine dredges, there's no stalker in piles. Continental machines, of course, extract gold on land, so the fastening of dredges should be thorough. The construction of such a dredge is carried out on a pontoon. The maximum depth of operation of the device is 50 meters, provided that the soil is suitable and there's enough water. One bucket can lift up to 250 kilograms of rock at a time, and a chain of buckets can also work. Basically, the operation of the dredge is that pressurized water enters the injector, and then sand and pebbles are sucked through the injector spigot and get to the chute grid, where further washing takes place. In fact, the dredge is a pontoon-mounted rotary-type mechanical excavator with a rock-washing device. Notch. After all this process, the mined gold accumulates in the lower part of the machine, which is closed with steel grates to prevent possible theft. The precious metal is taken out every few days, and quite many kilograms can accumulate there. Excavation is carried out with the obligatory process of weighing and drawing up a report. Then, all the extracted metal is poured into special containers, which are then sealed. Refining Of course, after mining and a thorough washing process thanks to special machines, it may seem that nugget gold sand is quite pure. However, this is not entirely true. And all because at this stage, it still contains heavy impurities. That is why, after mining, gold is sent to special refineries, where the final purification of the metal is done by amalgamation or cyanidation, as well as gold smelting. And only then is it poured into ingots, which are subsequently used for jewelry, technology, coin alloys, as well as obtaining ultra-pure substance and other things. Here you just got more familiar with the process of gold mining and learned what machines are actively involved in all processes. You can share your insights and impressions in the comments section down below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel to always be able to watch the most interesting videos. That's all for now. We'll see you next time.